Hey everybody, welcome to Larson Farms. Let's go check on the big Swede. Getting her done? I think it's there. We can try it at least. What are we building? Rack to hold chains, clevises, come-alongs, everything that lays on the ground right now. Passes. That was pretty aggressive. And it's I, still passed. I still gotta paint it. I'd like to put some trim work around the bottom. In wood? Absolutely. <laughs> Might even sheetrock the inside. I suppose. Well that's gonna be an upgrade from eight chains piled on top of each other. <laughs> and laying on the ground. Just a snake comes with you and you grab with. Grab with, grab what, what? Where am I? Uh, Everything's moving so fast. You know, it just might work. I think so. Well, you finish this up. I'm gonna work on putting these things on this tailboard spreader here. This Land Coda product, galvanized steel that goes on the tailboard spreader. That's the wrong way. Already almost messed up. This thing has a hundred engine hours on it and already rounded off all the corners here. Dad even said I can't believe they wouldn't have them coated with steel from the factory, but they don't. Good thing Lancota makes this product. We'll get them covered up because I imagine those are quite expensive. Will last forever. Why don't we just take this whole thing off? It doesn't work to begin with. Just wind throw it. <laughs> no, go back to the fins. No. Yes. No. Although 45 feet, that's gonna be a lot of trash to throw. Yeah. Well, how come you're over here? I'm done. This is my project. I'm done, look at that. Can you zoom in with those GoPros? I can't, but she can. Ready, set, boop, boop, boop. It needs a paint job. Boom. I'm getting it. Sure, talking a lot. Boy, aren't you thinking, now I don't have to kneel and crouch and I can see something. One left on this one. And you can spin them. Belts aren't so good. Hydraulic? Be driven. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, that would make sense. Woo! Last one. I found it to be much easier to hold the metal up there and then drill through it. It goes a lot smoother than marking it out. Believe that or not. You know, that looks pretty sharp. Kind of like it. I wonder if you can get chrome rims for a combine with yellow spokes. Ooh, that'd be sweet. If you buy this kit from Lancota, you get extra bolts with it. It's a one day offer. Go to the link in the description below. Check them out. I'm very satisfied. Fit good, easy to install. Just a little time consuming, but Maybe it would go a little faster if you actually took them off of the spinner thingy. But pretty easy. Should last forever now. I'm going out with you, I guess. The wife texts. Unless you don't want me to go with. You again? Yeah, me. You. Yeah. With me. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Yes. Amy says yes. We are getting so organized. I've never seen this corner cleaned. <laughs> it took work. <laughs> But look at here, where the dirty stuff went. No, no, don't shine that. Now it's just in the middle. <laughs> we'll just drive it all over now with trucks. Oh, this is going like, to be a lot better. Is it strong enough? So far. <laughs> Eric, Jet, good job. Thanks. I didn't do it to the fame, although royalties are allowed. <laughs> what is all this? Junk. I'm not going to go hang junk on that. It's special. So where do we hang the Yankum rope? Leave that on the tractor for as much as we get stuck. <laughs> well, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm eating now. Okay. How you guys doing? Shucking. We're learning how to cook for the first time in our lives. Well, good luck. I'm going to just have a hot dog. Ah! Careful. I just touched it. It wasn't that hot. How long do you boil oh, sweet eight corn for? Eight to ten minutes. Honey. Here's what I found. Eight to ten minutes, mom says. Five minutes. No, no, no it's not long enough. We're trusting your mom then. Eight to ten minutes. When did we start it? Hmm. How do you set a timer? Oh, no. Amen. Eight. Whoo! Oh, I just set the time. Not a timer. <laughs> oh my. The hot dogs are up there in the crock pot. Oh, well now it's working. I set the time to 8 o'clock. It's time to go home. See you later. You ever seen someone put a barbecue sauce on a hot dog before? No, I haven't. The big Swede does. Sweet Baby Ray's. I hand that one back. I know you can't handle the empty one. That corn, oh my, the corn will be done any time now. Are they done? No. How do you know? They turn yellow and they float. Well, those are my two. How come you didn't pull all the peach fuzz off? This thing's off of hot. Those? You're putting them back onto the plate we put on when they were husked? Shucked. Shucked? No. He's putting them back on a dirty plate, Doggo. <laughs> What's dirty about it? Sparrow doo doo. <laughs> Worms. Oh, it's too late now. No, it's too late for yours and Doug's. Mine are going on a clean plate. That <laughs> <laughs> sucker. You're doing great. You want three? You gonna puke it? You got into the cheese. I hope that wasn't a cheese filled dog, but we're gonna find out shortly. The one I bit into was. Who would even bring cheese filled hot dogs here knowing I can't eat them? It was your mother. Oh, I suppose. I suppose. Okay, I'm done. I thought it was you. I don't bring food. <laughs> I, I freeload. 
Should we put the camera on you as you're eating corn? I'm getting the meat sweats from this. <laughs> uh, corn appetite. You never ever know where the next YouTube video is going to come from, but I'll tell you what, they're going to really enjoy me destroying this butter stick. <laughs> is Which this one? how you're supposed to load this thing? Mm, I don't think that's how you do it. For heaven's sakes, it's supposed to be a hard stick. Goodness. Well, someone put them in here all cut up like load this all. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I've destroyed I'm just this get thing. A knife. By the time you get done smearing around there, I have to keep done eating my cow. <laughs> Don't fill her plump full. You got to get the plunger in there. Oh my. I'm supposed to use a hard stick, I think. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Pass oh. that tray of butter over. Should I go get a cock tube? And Here, scrape step? some off of there. It's way too much. Get a tube of it. Maybe that's what we could do. Sell butter in a tube. This is good. <laughs> He's already done. We haven't even got the stick loaded. This is so fancy, but not working at all. Butter in a tube? So, so I can't have milk or cheese or nothing but butter don't bother me weird isn't that weird that's weird they're just gonna hear me eating in the <laughs> four minutes is just dinner time the best first date would be corn on the cob and ribs no <laughs> and, and no running water for no. miles a bunch of tomcats well, that'll happen either way tomcat scratching Oh, what a mess here. <laughs> hey, you want this? Oh no, the, the thing went crooked in there now too. <laughs> oh. I'm good, thank you. What a mess. Do we have napkins here? <laughs> we have no napkins? It's like, it's like a pancake, you gotta get so much on there. How about a bed? Just hose me off. Need some paper towels or something. Nobody's opened up the napkin. <laughs> we are the most hopeless human beings on this <laughs> earth when it comes to feeding ourselves. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you got a clean hand? I'll open that up there. Just grab that. Hey guys, just a reminder before fall, harvest comes. If you guys are looking for any engine tunes, PK Solutions is running a really awesome deal. If you do a tune through them, your name goes in a hat to get your money refunded. So they will have a drawing at the end of the month, I believe it is, and one person will be getting their money refunded. So if you let them know, Chet from Larson Farm sent you, and you got a tune, you have a chance of getting a free tune. So. I'd go check them out. Their link is in the description below. They also have a bunch of other stuff going on. If you want to check out Peak 8 Solutions on YouTube, he talks a lot about that in his videos. Otherwise, this thing was tuned by them this spring. There's videos in the past of them tuning some of our equipment. They did the 8520, both 600 quad tracks, this Terrigator. We've been very pleased with it the whole time. So let them know Chet from Larson Farm sent you, and Mark will be more than glad to have a conversation with you. I appreciate you guys watching this video today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a Larson Farm subscriber. I would appreciate it. See you guys next time.